Dear students, in this video we would like to motivate you to work with us towards explainable AI. Our background is in human-computer interaction and knowledge discovery from data and we foster an integrated machine learning approach and our motto is augmenting human intelligence with machine intelligence and uh, particularly we uh, because we are working in the health domain we are fostering privacy data protection safety and security and um, to date machine learning has impressive results for example deep convolutional neural networks are bringing up uh, super results even at human level and um, they have some drawbacks and one of these drawbacks is that they are considered black box approaches besides of being data hungry and very resource intensive and they need of course much engineering work but they are considered as black boxes. Such deep learning algorithms might be statistically impressive, but individually they still are unreliable. And so the question remains, what makes a cat a cat? But for this, however, we would need context adaptation. And current AIs, as impressive as they may be, still cannot answer the question why certain decisions have been made. Consequently, what we would need are retraceability, explainability, understandability and interpretability. This would not only foster trust in machine learning specifically, but in artifi artificial intelligence in general. Here, a human loop could be beneficial. So in a graph theoretical setting, information propagates from one node to the other via edges. And what we would like to do is if we detect a change uh, in the state of one of the nodes, uh, where did this change actually originate? Did it come from one of the adjacent uh, nodes or did it actually originate from a remote area of the graph? Now this is what we call explainability. On the other hand, legal requirements and often user sentiment would actually like to force us to protect user information so, such that they are not really explainable from other nodes. And that of course, as you can imagine, are two forces that are working against each other. So in this example, we have a weather grid a simulation and we have just detected a hurricane coming in from the east. Now, what we would like that simulation to tell us is the probabilities for that weather front to arrive over that crest uh, in the west of the area. And if we have a nice little uh, nuclear plant there, if we should actually shut it down preemptively before it explodes and does a lot of damage. Now here there's no privacy concerns at all, but explainability is very, very interesting because shutting down a nuclear plant can be extremely costly. On the other hand, in a social network, privacy is of really great importance. So if we make a recommendation to one of the users, we would actually like to know where that information came from. But on the other hand, we do not want to disclose the private data of the origin, right? So what we can do here is we can actually first compute um, information content locally and then only propagate that information uh, from one cluster to the other and not the individual nodes. This gives us kind of a hybrid model, but it actually hides the exact origin of the information. So here we have a compromise. So what I would like to suggest is another model, which I call the local sphere recommender. In this example, we have a knowledge graph and the nodes um, depict little concepts or items of knowledge. Um, so the ellipses you see in different colors are the interests of certain people. And those interests can, of course, overlap. Now, this information is globally available and globally shared. On the other hand, there are certain personal information, which is located on your mobile device, in your browser history, you know what I mean. And you don't want to disclose that. Now, a local sphere would consist of the combination of those overlapping segments and your private information. And if you could actually run a client-side recommender on that, then you could have the best of both worlds. This model has other benefits as well. It is more scalable, it is more responsive, and it is more secure versus central hacking. Plus, it allows the user to actually interact with the recommender and give local feedback so that we can build from local models a centralized global model via interactive machine learning. We have pioneered in the interactive machine learning approach. That means that we directly involve a human into the algorithmic loop and this has some advantages for example we can 
open the black box approaches towards a glass box approach and we can exploit human intelligence for solving for example or to help to solve NP hard problems, for example, in subspace clustering, in K anonymization, protein designs. And this human in the loop, we have set up an experiment. You can see the URL here and you can play around with it. And um, the, the, the idea is that not only one single human could be in this loop, there can be, for example, a group or a crowd, many people can be in this loop. And uh, this could foster, for example, uh, and help solving problems which we cannot solve to date because most of all, the humans are able to understand the context. And this would bring us towards context adaptation. And this is the grand goal of uh, explainable AI. And with these final words, I would uh, invite you to contact us for working with us on challenging problems towards the future of augmenting human intelligence with machine intelligence toward explainable AI. Thank you very much.